Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my case clicker videos. I decided to try something a little different out this time around, and that is to split up my case clicker and non-case clicker videos once again. So this is gonna be it's gonna be some coin flipping. I hope it's gonna end well. It's gonna be my trading. It is going to be everything that I'm going to be sharing case clicker wise today, and then all the other stuff is going to come in a larger merge together batch, a uh, long play kind of video that I also really enjoy enjoy making and that is of course because I get the feeling that those of you that are interested in case clicker might not be interested in the other things I'm making and vice versa and I just kind of wanted to find out if I was doing everybody a favor by splitting things up and sharing that one more video or if it's like horrible that I'm sharing an additional video but anyway guys we are going to be um, taking that as it comes so please don't uh, hate me too much for trying it is actually because I want to do things in a way that is as enjoyable for you guys as possible. But with that said and done, guys, I'm feeling that we should be digging into the clicking. No, that's just me cheating. We should be going in and trying to see if we can turn these balanced tickets into something more. My goal is... I want to double. <clears throat> Minimum. Minimum double. Hopefully make a million. Uh, if I'm really happy, make two. I will be really happy if I end the two and yeah <laughs> I know I, I kind of pre-gambled a million so that I didn't have to go in and deposit stuff all the time if we went into a losing streak then I had a little bit of a buffer to work with but it looks as if I'm on my way down there again you have lost how dare ya come on you have won exactly it would actually be nice if there was some kind of mechanic here that allowed you guys to see what I was tapping on before the actual coin flip. For another video guys, let me know, should I video edit that in? Would that be cooler for you guys if I uh, <clears throat> added some kind of check before the animation or do you not uh, really care about that? I'm just asking really because I was just thinking it's a bit weird that you can't really see what I am uh, tapping on. So I'm going to try to possibly do that the next time around but you guys please let me know what you think for now I am at no I was just there is this where I'm gonna be stopping it oh, 2.3 this is a good place to be I have doubled my money and then some but I'm thinking I'm a bit greedy so I want to try a little bit more. you you know how much I love gambling I can't stop now I definitely can't do that <coughs> <clears throat> All right, one more, then it's a game over. That's what I'm talking about. One more, then it's game over. So, guys, I'm thinking this here was a bit of a speedy. What has been like one, two minutes? I don't know. For me, it feels like no time whatsoever. I'm gonna be doing some trading now with you guys. Gonna be merging it in. <clears throat> Afterwards, I'm going to try to gamble a bit more. See if we can turn these three million into four, perhaps even five. And then you guys, if I don't lose it all, um, let me know what you want me to do with the remaining all right, tickets. Guys, so it's time to dig into some of the trading. And before I do that, I wanted to do a little bit of cleaning up, as I mentioned in the previous video. This is, of course, because some of you guys haven't had time or uh, items to respond to these trades. And if you can't do it, then there is no reason for us to have this ongoing trade others could benefit from the items instead so I do hope that you get why and that you can just post a comment with the items that you're interested in and I would absolutely gladly trade with you guys another thing is that some of you may be playing on Android I'm playing on iOS so if you have sent me a trade where you don't have the same valued items as I have we're gonna have problems completing these trades and that basically means write in your comment if you are trading from an Android or if you're trading from iOS so that I can trade from the same device because I have both iOS and Android devices and it's just going to uh, allow us to trade a little bit more efficiently if we actually use the same software the same program to trade in between because I may be adding something and I'm thinking that I'm giving you 20,000 and on your end I'm giving you 10 that means that we can't both accept the trade and that may be what is going on with all of these green trades I have up here I'm going to give them another day to be completed um, 
but please guys write if you are trading from iOS if you're trading from Android so that I can trade from the same devices from like as soon as possible so all of these white trades are going to be cancelled now and then I'm going to be picking the comments for today's trades really hoping that at least some of you guys have mentioned whether or not you are trading from iOS or from Android or that you can have the trades completed anyway so that we can get a little bit more back on track on on the trading here because I, I it really pains me to see all these uh, pending accepted trades that should have been completed um, so it is it is not to be a beep that I am canceling these it is pretty much just to have a complete restart I did also mentioned it yesterday in the long trade merge mix up video but today I am making a bit of a dedicated case figure video where I figured I could just go through all of this again let you guys know why is my trade cancelled well because <laughs> really I wanted to clean up and I wanted to it's not because I don't want to trade uh, I wouldn't be making these trade videos if I didn't want to trade it is just to try to get things a little bit less messy than what they are now and I wanted to do this while recording it so that you can see why your trade has been cancelled if your trade is here and you're like hey I put in uh, so much value why didn't you put in something like you uh, normally do just really for the sake of cleaning up for the sake of getting a bit more structure on it so that the players that I highlight from from comments are guaranteed to get what they want so that they don't get mixed up in semi-completed trades here on a way too long list of trades so I hope you guys understand and that you will um, write a comment with what you would like to see and what version of the game you're playing or just if you are playing on the newest Android or newest iOS version I will continue to add things into these blank trades but every once in a while probably one two times a week I'm going to do this complete cleanup kind of thing because a lot of players change NetHub IDs uh, do the loading and saving, saving and then you get a new NetHub ID and I don't want to be the guy with 10,000 pending trades that don't really belong to anyone anymore uh, that would be massive waste as well so let's see are we done with this yet are we there yet are we there yet no we're not but I am of course um, planning on or have already by the time you may be listening to this um, put in hypertext links jump links in the description so that you can skip the deleted trades part of the video and go directly to the common trading which I guess is the most interesting for you guys but I kinda wanted to share you share like the process behind and the reason behind these removed trades for those of you that we're wondering why why oh why is it removed and I really want to clean it all up even though I can see now that it may be something that's gonna be taking a very 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 long time uh, boy. and that is why I normally do all this cleanup stuff here when I don't record because it is just as boring for me as it might be for for those of you that probably already skipped this part of the video I think I'm actually just talking to myself I doubt that anyone out there is gonna be listening to this so I could say anything like uh, plum peach banana if I wanted to then I could just say it yeah nothing nobody's ever gonna listen we all jump past this point meaning that I could just have skipped it anyway but I do like having it here but perhaps you're sitting out there and you're like dude I'm listening <laughs> kudos thank you for keeping me company during the cleanup of trades part of my routine here where I don't know how many I actually lost count of how many of these we are I am cancelling today the good news is that I have 
that was like one thing that really bumped me from yesterday and that is of course that I was unable to trade first with the item he wanted and now I have one so I am looking very much forward to going through the comments to see if first have had the time to reply and if he is in fact still in need of the factory new law then now I do have one I have been raking in quite a bit of items today and of course as you guys have seen I've also been doing a little bit of gambling that I'm looking very much forward to completing after this but I feel that it makes some kind of a nice karma balance to um, to give away before earning more in terms of tickets anyway so um, so are we there yet no we're not wow why are we not there yet seriously it makes no sense oh mighty mo so like I also think I said at least I wanted to say all of the ones up here these green trades that I have completed if you are the owner of the trade on the other side please accept it if you can accept it or cancel it if you can't if there is some kind of difference between the value I have and the value you have so that we can't complete this trade then just cancel it leave me a comment we'll figure something out um, because I will be canceling them as well I just wanted to give the already like completed trades a bit more of a time before saying no it was completed but it isn't completed any longer I think that would be like insanely rude but anyway this was clean up part one I'm not gonna do all the uh, other cancel trades uh, and stuff like that now now I'm going to be looking into the actual comments and then um, doing a little bit of trading hopefully they are gonna be working out nicely so the first one on the list here is um, please trade free guns I assumed that free guns was the net hub ID uh, please guys write NetHub ID because I'm gonna be searching for that I just really took the most recent comment from my channel here <laughs> it was a case slicker trade so I decided to try it out free guns uh, okay so what would you like would you like uh, Dragon Law that's pretty much what I'm trying to give when I have nothing else to go by because I uh, kinda need to uh, offer something for it to be a trade Next one on the list here from Kyle Connor. Please no Dragon Laws, just really good knives. Okay, well, Dragon Laws are absolutely not uh, not a must. So I am going to be sending you um, these two. It's uh, multiple knives and they are pretty expensive, as good as they get in this game right now anyway. So I do hope that is going to match up with what you had in mind for the trade. Next on, on the list here, hey look I have a ton of stuff to trade that totals 5000, I would like the max you can send. And then it has been revised to a total of 8000. So I can send you like 10,600 or something off the top of my head. And since you are mostly just uh, looking for value, I'm going to just go with the 11 here and hope that it is going to uh, to work out nicely it's like I'm not entirely sure what the percentages are but I hope you should be uh, be able to accept this trade next one on the list here can you please trade me Lotian knives knife skins uh, good tree 1042 and yes I can uh, I definitely can I just need to um, to know what low tier is because we can go like way low and we can go semi low for some like this is low for others we need to go even lower but I'm just gonna be calling it and going around here and then sending you like this so not really that much in value 240 in total at least on my device so I hope this is like what you had in mind next run here from gaming noobs got most items in game send trade then say what you want so this is also an open invitation to those of you out there looking to trade with somebody else than me there is a player here open for pretty much any kind of trading so uh, so yeah I have extended the invite here and uh, thank you very much for the interest and support sending you a dragon all just really for the sake of uh, trading because I really like doing so so um, I'm guessing you can accept this 
So another trade here for Lucas Hammerheart. Thank you very much for wanting to trade with me once again. You would like some of the new expensive knives and um, yeah, please as part of the name. <laughs> I, I kind of got that the last time around. Thank you very much for verifying it, for clarifying it. And uh, these are the same stuff. So like that, top one, two, three on my list is coming your way in the trade. I do hope you have a version and value that allow you to accept my trade. So something completely different, uh, like what's up with this, a lot of you guys are, are writing to me that you usually don't get replied to. If I, I wanted to touch on this because if this is because I've been gone for almost two months then I'm like super super sorry. I really try to check by my comments, put a lot of time into answering them, so I'm sorry if you guys feel like I haven't been replying. I know I haven't because I've been away, but besides that I really, I really at least I tell myself that I, I try and I put a lot of time into it and I'm re I really appreciate all your comments so uh, so yeah just you know just a quickie that I wanted to to mix in here so uh, yeah thank you guys really next trade here can someone please trade me starter items rich gang and I do hope you're gonna be rich gang for sure starter items starter items where are we I mean are we down here are these starter items it's really 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 hard to send you starter items when I don't really know what we are talking value wise uh, but I'm gonna try and I'm just going to send you I mean when I started I would have absolutely loved a few pinkies and a red down in the very 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 low spectrum of the game so I'm sending you that and then I I hope it is going to be within your definition of starter items if if not please do include a value so that I can trade a bit more um, yeah like what you want I guess so uh, but but thank you very much for the comment next from here warm teddy 113 please give me a dragon lore there is definitely gonna be one coming your way I'm just expecting it to be the factory new souvenir one but if not please just let me know in a comment and I will send you a different variant thank you very much for the comment Next one here from Icy Lizard 381 or <laughs> Mei Mei King 777. A request for 10 knives between 500 and a thousand dollars in the game. So I think I'm just gonna be selecting uh, like tap a random place and go with those. So that is coming your way in the net hub right now. So another trade request here from Callum Bragg also very active posting comments offering you guys trades as well as so you. I'm pretty sure you can hit up this player as well for trades. The request here is Hi Logi, thanks for adding my trade in the video. I have one more trade request please. It's one Medusa factory new and about 10 knives that are 10 to 250 in value. And yeah, I am definitely going to be sending you that. So the first thing is that we're going to be digging out the Medusa. Somewhere down below the howls here we have it and then you would like 10 knives in the 100 250 range that might be a bit of a problem for me but let's see what I have that I so there we start one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten it's not to be super cheap I'm selecting the low ones it's just really trying to make sure I hit within the price range that you wanted thank you once again very much for your comment I sent you a trade, my net hub is Chabby, and I'd love to have some Karambit Gamma Doublers or Karambit Laws or even Howl's Star Trek if possible. Not a problem, not a problem at all. So let's send you two of these and one of these and then you would love even Howl's. So that's like the 14 area somewhere down here and find you a few of those howls should I really tap uh, it's somewhere whoa nice tapping so I'm gonna be sending you four howls just like that so thank you very much for the trade and for the comment Luca I would love you can trade with me I waited one and a half day for you to send me something I'm sorry um, I really try to be very active now that I'm back again in the trades. I've been doing a lot of trades. I think I did like 80 minutes of trades yesterday alone on the video. Traded offline as well. Well, not offline, but off cam anyway. 
I would absolutely love to send you something. I'm uh, popping into Souvenir Dragon Laws here. I don't really have much else to work with in terms of what you would like. So uh, yeah, I hope it's going to be useful. And thank you very much for the patience and for the comments. From Oliver Burns, I sent you, <laughs> I sent trade. Can you give me a stat track? How please my net hub is shiny hook 332? Yes, I can. I think they're right around somewhere very close to here. There we have one coming your way. So thank you very much for the interest, the support, and the comment, and the trade. So a bit of a long one here from Miles. Look, I recently started thinking about trying to complete the Fade Knife collection, and, was, and I was wondering if you could help me out. My net hub is Miles Anthony123, and I appreciate a Karambit, a Butterfly Knife, and a Flip Knife Fade in Stat Track Factory New. Alright, well, uh, let me see what I can dig out in uh, that category. So, you wanted <laughs> you wanted Karambit, Butterfly, and Flip Knife, and I didn't have that. I found some of what I had here. Um, of course, I have the Karambit, and I didn't have the Butterfly, but I didn't have any Flip Knife. So, uh, so I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to be leaving these in here in case you want them anyway. I guess I could remove this uh, comment line here for you to see. Um, so I'm just leaving these in here in case you want these factory new stat track fade knives. But um, if not, just put in the value. I'll remove the ones not matching up with your comment. Hey Logan, can you please give me some skins? I really like that game, but it's hard to grow up and upgrade all the stuff. Yes, I would definitely like to do that, but if, I mean, what should I give you? It sounds as if you can't afford possibly to get like a massive amount of value. So I'm thinking I'm going to give you my absolute favorite skin here in the trade. Well, trade it to you. The Karamba Tiger Tooth Stat Track Factory New. So I do hope that is going to be something that you can afford to accept. Thank you very much for the interest and the comment. So another request here from Max Ma <coughs> Makarov. Hey guys, if somebody has a Stat Track Factory New Howl, I would love to get one. I can trade in stickers and skins. Absolutely, I would love to trade with you again. So just here it is. Send me whatever you would like in return. A uh, Factory New Stat Track Howl coming your way in the trade. Thank you very much for the comment. So here I have a request for a Howl Factory New and a Butterfly Knife Crimson Web Factory New. So yeah, they are they are both coming your way here in the trade. Thank you very much for the comment and the interest. Alright, so another bit of a returner here from Bomb B. South Ship 10, you offered a knife that cost 1920 and you would like a Karambit Gamma Doppler or Karambit Law. I'm just gonna send you a Karambit Law in the trade here. Let me see if I can get a connection running. I can like that. It's a bit of a buggy one right now, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna be uh, be ending the trading very soon. But anyway, it is coming your way again here in the trade. Thank you very much for the patience, the support, and the trade. So I have quite a few trades that I'm unable to complete. I have been trading with uh, Flalik here before, NetHub Lucky34, but it just says player not found right now when I'm trying. So I'm really, really sorry, Flalik. If you have a new NetHub ID, please. Leave it in with a new comment, then uh, yeah, we can get some trading going again. So here's another bit of problem, some of the stuff that I talked about earlier as well. Different versions, different devices, different trading makes it like really problematic. I'm going to dig out my Android device ID for tomorrow. I don't really have it right next to me right now, but I'm going to find it for the next video. And if you guys need it, just you know, post it. I'm going to make it something Luca Hansen, I'm not sure what yet. Uh, but but when you request a trade with your NetHub ID, and unfortunately there is no NetHub ID here either, just let me know that you're trading from Android, because then I will be playing with the newest Android version on my Android device and the newest iOS version on the iOS device, and then hopefully we're going to be able to uh, trade pretty flawlessly between us. Anyway guys, that was what I had in mind in terms of trading. Now I want to go back into the coin flipping and uh, see if I can have All a right guys so it is time to gamble a little bit more it's time to gamble a little bit more and I don't know I am I'm a little bit um, worried about losing my uh, newly earned two million tickets because even though I gamble quite a bit for me it goes like up and down on this but I'm thinking there is no time like the present and um, yeah let's just um, Let's go in and do it really is what I'm thinking. So let us see. My goal is 
I would like to leave here with no less than 3.5. I don't want to be losing stuff again. I would love to leave here with 5. If I can have like 5 times as many tickets as when I started, whoa, then it's gonna be a good one. But yeah, wow. I mean, right or left, guys. Right or left. <laughs> alright, alright. So we're at 4 million now. We're at 4 million, 4.5 million. Let's make another, let's make another 250,000 and then call it a day. Okay, let's just not go too much. So another 250,000. That is, oh, really? Okay, which side? Okay, okay. Another 250,000. That's it, guys. We now have half a million in tickets. Let me clear it out like that. 5,143,120. What should we do with them? I'm going to stop here because I have a bad habit of going into the worst kind of luck streak ever. And now I have a pretty decent balance. 5 million tickets. What should I do with them? In the next case clicker video, do you guys want me to just go in and withdraw a million five times? Do you guys uh, want us to try to do something else? Do you have a betting strategy I should try out in the roulette, in the coin toss here? I'm pretty much open for suggestions as long as um, I want to I, I want to keep my one million and that's really because I hate depositing in here and I like having just a little buffer to work with so at least the full million we can do like anything you guys want just let me know and uh, I'm going to uh, prepare it for the next case video for now guys thank you all very much very much for watching